Right, to start with, we're, um, we've got that the distance between the rails is 16.5 millimetres, um, and then we want to work out what it is in the actual one, right, now rather than just the model. So we're going to do 16.5 multiplied by 87. That will give us, like it's going to be that way around, isn't it? Because the, the smaller one is going to be worth one part, and the bigger one, the actual distance is going to be worth 87 parts. So we just have to multiply our one part, which is 16.5 in this case, by 87. So let's do that. That gives us 1435.5. But that is still in the same unit. It would be in millimetres. We're being asked to give our answer in metres. So let's just make sure we're careful. Well, actually, we just need to divide through by a thousand. So you might sometimes I teach it and say, right, change it to centimetres first by dividing by 10 and then change it from centimetres to metres by dividing by 100. But it is actually equivalent to just dividing by a thousand. I'm just mentioning these other methods. So this would be 1.43. Five, five meters. Um, I think I'll leave it as that. Like it, that, you know, the, the, we we let's presume. I suppose no. Let's leave it at that. You could round it. Um, but yeah, even you know, even half a millimeter, you can actually measure. It's not like too small to think about. All right, the volume of a full-sized carriage is 220 meters cubed. And now this dude is calculating the volume of the model train carriage to be 334 centimeters cubed. Is Trevor correct? All right, let's have a go. So what we've got to remember is we've got some sort of train and um, maybe that's the large one and that's the big one. Now, the height of the large one is going to be 87 times bigger. But the length is also going to be 87 times bigger and the depth going into this direction here is also going to be 87 times bigger so this is like a um a, well we need to think about the volume scale factor so the length scale factor is 87 but the volume scale factor will actually be 87 cubed so if I want to go from the train, the full train, to the model train, I'm actually going to have to divide by that scale factor. See what I get. 220 divided by 87 cubed. So I'm going to get quite a small number here. 3.34 times 10 to the minus 4. But that is in meters cubed. And Trevor's calculating it in centimeters cubed. So what do I what do I do to go from meters cubed to centimeters cubed? Well, one meter is a hundred centimeters. One meter cubed will be a hundred cubed centimeters cubed. Again, it's just like I did in the the first bit. Because um, I suppose I could, you know, you can see one one by one by one is going to be one meter cubed, but this will be equivalent to a hundred by a hundred by a hundred. So that's why I have to cube the hundred. So to get the actual answer, um, I just need to multiply. I'm just trying to think about how much working I should do. I think I've shown enough down here, so I think I can take my answer and I can just times it by a hundred. Cubed. And I get 334.09 centimeters cubed. So equals 334 centimeters cubed to 3SF, three significant figures. Then I think I would just write a conclusion. Yes, Trevor is correct. This is a sneaky question, but they at least they kind of guide you a little bit. The fact, you know, I mean, some half often the questions are wrong when they sort of ask it. 
often the answers are wrong when they say so and so calculate um but at least kind of makes you i think it probably helps you think about the fact that once you've done this bit how do you convert to centimeters cubed um yes trevor is correct well done trevor